since I last posted and I honestly wasn't gonna film this video today and then I was like well you know it's time I update what's going on and thought I would tell you all about what's been happening in these last few weeks for me. So if you've been following my channel you'll know that I got a couple of medical school acceptances and I'm so stoked about that but I was holding out for one school in particular and I didn't get in. It was a bummer. It was a shock. I kind of thought that I'd at least get on the wait list. I felt good about my interview and I really don't know what happened. I was going to wait to film this video until I heard back from them because I requested some feedback, but I have a feeling that's gonna take a while and I thought I would just get everything out in the open and share what's been going on. So yeah, that was really unfortunate and it threw me for a bit of a loop. And then I realized that if I wasn't going there, then I had already kind of narrowed down my selection with the other schools to one school in Colorado. And it turned out that orientation was like basically two months away or two months until I would need to move. And I had a panic moment for sure. I have some family things going on um, with the health of some of my family members and just the thought of leaving in two months and being multiple states away, 20 hours in the car and like a full day's travel kind of um, by plane, it was just kind of surprising and I honestly wasn't ready for it. I am a huge family person and so thinking of just like leaving that suddenly was a lot for me and I really didn't know how to handle it. And so I did a lot of thinking, a lot of sleepless nights, <laughs> it was not fun. And I've made my decision and I'm not gonna go this year. I know it sounds crazy and honestly, sometimes I'm like, I can't believe I'm putting this off for a year, but I really feel like it's the right thing to do. I was really, really grateful that the school that I have been accepted to was willing to defer a year due to the family things that are going on at home. And so I'm really like now starting to feel really good about my decision. Well, I graduated back in December from my undergrad. So I've really only had these last two terms off of school and I've been working basically full time since then. And so I haven't had a ton of time to like just do whatever I want to do and not that that's like a deal breaker or anything and I was honestly ready to go to school this fall until I realized like how soon it was gonna happen and I didn't really want to leave my family quite yet but now that I've like sat back and thought about it I'm really looking forward to having another year off of school it definitely wasn't in my plan I wasn't intending on taking a gap year but with everything that's happened in this past year um, with the world and my plans had been to travel with my time off and then I didn't get to do that. Um, it just really wasn't what I was expecting this time off to be. So I'm really fortunate that I'll have another year to spend with my family and to hopefully do a little bit of traveling also. So with that being said, that is my decision. I am not going to school this summer. It's kind of crazy. I am waiting until next summer and I will be going to school next year. So. That will be very exciting. So in the meantime, I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do. Um, if I want to pursue a new job in the meantime, or if I want to keep doing what I'm doing. I love scribing. It's not the best paid job, but if my housing situation now stays the same or relatively similar, I can totally afford to live with my uh, working wage from scribing. So, We'll just have to see how it goes and what I decide to do, but I will definitely just be hanging out with my family for the next year, maybe go on a couple trips. My sister is moving to Hawaii, so I might make a trip or two out to see her. I already had a trip scheduled either way to go to Greece in June with one of my close friends, and I'm really looking forward to that. And this will also just give me more time to figure things out, figure out where I'm moving um, and all of that stuff. So. Yeah, it definitely wasn't what I pictured with my, if you would have asked me like last year or two years ago what my plan would be, it would definitely be to start school this fall, but life works <laughs> differently sometimes and I'm honestly really excited as long as I use this year to 
be with my friends and family and do some things that I might not have been able to do had I been in school. I don't see how I could ever regret this decision. I know tons of people take gap years, so I won't feel like I'm behind in any way. And I'm really looking forward to it. And this decision was not easy for me. It took a lot of careful thinking, so yeah, it's definitely hard. I had moments where I realized that really what was holding me back was what others thought. And I just had to like be real with myself and realize that for one, no one really cares what I do. Like it's my life. And so if they do care, then like I shouldn't care about that. Um, normally I'm pretty good at like doing what I want to do and not really caring about what other people think. But for some reason, this decision, like I kept saying like, oh, people think I'm going this year or like people are going to think blah, blah, blah. Like I don't even know what, but I just had to really be real with myself and decide like what was right for me and not worry about anything else. And so I'm really proud of myself because it was not an easy thing to do to turn down. I guess I didn't really turn down an offer. I'm still going to medical school. I'm still accepted somewhere. Um, it's just not until next year. So it was difficult. Um, I had a lot of sleepless nights, like I said, but we made the decision, we're here, we're doing it. And if anybody has any questions about the whole process, I would be happy to share them with you. Um, so just to recap, I guess, on my cycle, um, I applied to 10 schools, 5MD and 5DO. Um, unfortunately, my state only has one MD school and one DO school, so I'm really only like an in-state student at two schools. And so I was offered four interviews, three DO and one MD. I received two DO acceptances, one DO waitlist, and I was rejected from my fourth interview, and that was the MD school. So yeah, that one hurt. It still hurts a little bit. I'm upset, but it's okay. And honestly, I was kind of surprised about the other MD schools. And I really do, like I don't want people to think that like, if you've watched my other videos, my MCAT score wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. So I don't really know what kept me out of the running from those other schools. Um, I would guess it's probably part of my MCAT and maybe because my bio section was really low. I really have no idea. Um, I'll let you know if I get feedback from my state school. I hope that that doesn't turn anyone away from applying if they have a similar score to mine because like I said, I got into two schools. Um, I'm waitlisted still at another that's also a really good school. I have no regret or remorse about where I applied and where I got in. I will be totally happy to be a DO. I have no, like, I don't think there should be any shame in that. I don't understand why it's easier to get into sometimes. Um, I anticipate that will change in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about my opportunities. It was a very, very, very long cycle. I interviewed for this state school back in December and I heard radio silence until April 30th when I found out I didn't get in. So that was a bummer. Um, it was a long, long cycle. It's over now. I know what I'm doing. So it feels good to know what's going on with my life a little bit. There's still a little bit of question as to what I'm doing for this next year, but I will figure it out, I'm sure. They weren't kidding when they said your early 20s are a confusing time. It's very confusing. But yeah, I'm excited for what's ahead and I really appreciate you guys following along in my journey with me. We'll see what I come up with to make videos about in the next year. It might be just like more of my adventures throughout this year and what I'm doing to like prepare myself to be a med student. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I know this probably wasn't the decision you guys were expecting from me, but it really wasn't what I was expecting either until I made it. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,